So a few years ago, someone asked me to explain AI bias to them like they were five. So I tried to think of something that five-year-olds care about. Santa. Gather round for the tale of the AI bias before Christmas. Twas the weeks before Christmas and Santa was busy. His list was so long it was making him dizzy. There are too many children. List checking can't scale. If I do this by hand, I will certainly fail. But one of his elves had a brilliant idea. What if we automate Christmas this year? There always are kids who are naughty or nice. For every millennia, you've checked that list twice. Every child there's been from Aaron to Zeta, we can build an AI because we have the data. Now Santa is old. He didn't quite understand, but he trusted his elves, so he okayed the plan. First, elves cleaned the data. They were very precise to determine the patterns in naughty and nice. Gender and parents and address and race, grades and faves, really every trace. Billions of children made into numbers. AI makes predictions while each child slumbers. The goal of the model, just to be clear, given the patterns who's naughty this year. They held back a sample so that they could test, and the model, not bad, 90% at their best. So they brought it to Santa and said, never fear, machine learning will save Christmas this year. Santa pulled out his list for his own kind of test. Hours later, he went from impressed to distressed. You can't use this, he said. You must realize the stakes. There also are patterns in the errors it makes. Take little Aaron. Do you think it's fair that in numbers he's like naughty kids over there? We're also assuming our own perfect past. Have we made mistakes? We at least have to ask. Like, look at the insights this data supplies us. Some elves on these shelves might have unconscious bias. And you all made choices which features to add. Are you sure this was fair? And the elves looked quite sad. They had to admit they'd bought into the hype, but those errors did matter, and Santa was right. For now, Santa said, I'll go back to my list. Some things need a human to ensure they're not missed. I do think tech could help us. You didn't mean to abuse it, but like any great power, be careful how you use it. So next, Santa hired an AI ethics team. We move too fast, he said. We don't want to break things. So a few years ago, someone asked me to explain AI bias to them like they were five. So I tried to think of something that five-year-olds care about. Santa. It also turns out that Santa's naughty and nice list has some real parallels to ways that we see machine learning deployed in the real world, like biased algorithms used to predict whether someone might commit a crime again used in our criminal justice system. We also use algorithms to help with decision making in healthcare and college admission. We're even using generative AI now to make images like the ones I used in this video. And during that process, I had to explicitly request probably half a dozen times to please stop making all of the elves white. Regardless of whether an AI system is making a decision about whether someone gets parole or what the elves in a children's book illustration look like, it's important to know that there is a good possibility we're working with biased historical data. This, of course, is not the only way that bias can make its way into AI. The poem, for example, mentioned feature selection. And even beyond issues of bias, a better understanding of how systems like this work helps us to recognize their limitations. Issues like misinformation, or even the fact that art generators are built off of the work of countless uncompensated and uncredited artists. But regardless, I think it's really important that all of us have a basic understanding of how these things can happen. And there are some fantastic books on these topics. I also highly recommend the documentary Coded Bias. I will put a handful of resources in the description for this video. So all I want for Christmas is more people to be empowered to understand the limitations of artificial intelligence as it becomes more embedded into our lives, whether they're five or 55. So Merry Christmas to all and to all more fair AI.